Hi, I'm Nathan from Pi3G and today I'm going to show you how you can build your own sensors from scratch. For the flex sensor you need the following materials. A cardboard strip, an aluminum foil strip, a paper strip, some glue, a jumper cable or some copper wire, a pencil, some tape and some scissors. First, take the cardboard and cut it into two strips. Do the same with the aluminum foil. Cut the piece of paper into a strip of the same size as the cardboard strips. I will use a simple male-to-male -male jumper wire to connect to the sensor. Cut the wire in half and strip off the isolation. If you don't have the right tools, you can cut into the rubber just a little bit and rotate the wire and then you should be able to pull off the rubber. You should end up with something like this. Now apply some glue to the cardboard strips. Take the jumper wire and make sure it's cut to the right length. and then glue the jumper wire onto the cardboard. Next, just take one of the strips of aluminum foil and place it on top. It should be able to stick thanks to the glue. Now you have to repeat these steps for the other cardboard strip. You should now have two sides of the sensor which look like this. Take the paper strip and shade it with the pencil on both sides. Finally, it is time to assemble everything. Place the paper strip inside the cardboard strips like a sandwich so that the aluminum foil points inwards. Then wrap everything firmly with the tape. The flex sensor is now ready to be integrated into your project. Building a pressure sensor is very similar to building a flex sensor. The only difference is that all the parts are 2x2cm squares instead of rectangles. To build the vibration sensor, you need to make a spiral out of some copper wire. I use a screw to help me with the winding. The final length of the spring depends on the thickness of the copper wire that you are using, but make sure that it feels very wobbly. I'm using a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a hot glue gun to glue it into place. The orientation of the resistor doesn't matter.
Make sure that the resistor is perfectly centered and does not touch the copper spring while the glue is drying. Then all that's left to do is to trim the contacts. The final result looks like this. The sensors are now ready to be tested. I'm using a digital multimeter and the solderless breadboard to test the sensor. As you can see, there's a spike in resistance every time I plug the sensor. So that's it for today. You have your own set of sensors now, which you can integrate into any project that you like. We will show a future project that involves the flex sensors. Leave a comment of what you think this future project will be. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel as we will post videos like this on a weekly basis.